Hi, today I'm going to be doing a scene queen makeup look. I usually don't mess around with too many scene queen looks because I just do my eyeliner one specific way and it looks good so I do it all the time. I don't do a lot of experimenting but I want to experiment. I don't have too much of a plan. I'm, I think I'm just going to go for it. I know I want to do rainbow and I think I might want to do like leopard print eyeliner. But I don't know. I have to see like where I end up before I start going crazy with it. I have a feeling I've seen someone else do this before, but I don't fucking know who. I hope I'm not copying anyone. I hope it's not like a subconscious, like I think I came up with it, but then I actually didn't. But I tried, I tried looking for it. I couldn't find it. But I'm not looking at any references, so at least I have that going for me. I already put my eyebrows on, it's like nothing too exciting. I just put them on with eyeshadow and then I did the little concealer carvey thing. My skin looks really, really bad. My skin's just feeling extra hormonal this week. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna put foundation over it anyway. I'm hoping that I have all the colors for what I wanna do. I have a fuck ton of palettes, but I have to bust out like four or five palettes just to find six rainbow colors. I couldn't find a regular neon green, like a lime ass green color. All I have is like, pardon my Jeffree Star cosmetics, but like these icky greens. I would think that Jeffree Star would come out with like a nice lime green color in this palette, but he fucking didn't. He gave us poop greens. Okay, Jafar, give us nothing. Don't worry, I don't buy from his company anymore. Like for obvious, I don't have to explain myself. Like I was a fan of his when he first started releasing makeup and then he turned into a scumbag. So I just have a fuck ton of his makeup now. There's nothing I can do about it. I still use it. All right, I've got my disgusting little Anastasia contour palette. I'm not gonna show it because it's really fucking gross. I've had this thing for years and years and years. I guess I'm just gonna put it everywhere. It's already what I have underneath my eyebrow. It's not gonna hurt anything. I guess I should put it underneath my eyes too. Oh my God. Oh, but the clown. It's fine. Trust the process, I hope. Now since I'm already over here, I'm just gonna fucking highlight like I normally do. Truly, I'm gonna put this all over the place. This is not giving me the most promising potential. Oh, <laughs> we've got reverse raccoon eyes going. Well, I guess I'm gonna blend it out with my finger because I don't know what the fuck else I'd blend this with. Okay. That looks so scary in my camera. It's probably not gonna look so scary when I like look back at the footage, but what I'm staring at now is horrifying. Now, I guess I'm still gonna use this fucking Jeffree Star yellow because this is the closest thing that I have. God, it's so ugly. I don't understand why I don't have a fucking neon yellow. This is the most confusing day of my life. Okay, on this eye, I tried out the beauty board. Glazed, co <laughs> beauty glazed color board. On this side, I can just take off Jeffree Star. That one's too fucking gross. I don't know what else I expected from the man. All right, 12, 13 minutes in, I'm getting started. It's fine. Pigmentation isn't, you know, everything, but I'm working on it. I've got that down. I know that I want to put like the purple, uh, don't poke myself. I know I want to put the purple like on my outer corner since it's like a dark color. Maybe I'll just stick to the color color board. Purple is like the hardest color when I want to do neon rainbow because like what the fuck is neon purple? I'll put down a light purple shade and if I hate it I can cover it up. I think that sounds good. Who's this little, this little guy? Little brush. Fuck, I didn't put anything on my crease. I need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, new idea. If I can find a new brush. New brush. I guess I'm gonna use that fucking Jeffree color. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna do my crease. I'm so stupid. Okay. It's somewhere. Okay, I need to put down my crease before I forget because when I do some blendy blending, that's gonna cause issues. This is also from the Thirsty palette. Not to sponsor, but just to give context. Are my eyebrows even? I'm going somewhere with it. Where the fuck am I getting neon green? I really don't want to use a shimmery because the other stuff on my eyes isn't shimmery. Maybe I could do a little bit of color theory. Mix some yellow and blue. That might be my best bet. Where's my, where's my yellow brush? Fuck. Oh. oh, it's right in front of me. I'm gonna bring this color all the fucking way over here. I'm gonna blend the shit out of it with blue. Unless reality has other plans. It's not really staying too well. Uh, I'll never forgive myself for not owning a neon green that's matte. 
I really don't think I have an option other than to just fucking use a shimmery. So, I guess that's exactly what I want to do. And, oh, that doesn't look weird. I busted out the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm going to use these two little guys. Okay, I think I like that. And then I'm going to put this where the yellow is just so the shimmers match each other's vibes. This is such a green yellow. This is like a spring green. But I guess that's fine. That still looks good. We didn't need yellow anyway. Ooh, it's fine. It's fine. She's cute. Okay, I need to make it bigger. I'm thinking I'm gonna blend the fuck out of with pink. You can't go wrong with pink. Oh, there's a pink right here. Oh, okay, electric. Shit. Oh, I need a blendy brush. Oh, this one already has pink on it. This is a little bit too dirty. <laughs> Found a less dirty brush. I really need to wash my brushes. I could not tell you the last time I washed them. I'm gonna use this bright ass pink and put it all over the place. Oh, th she's dusty. Oh, this is big. Oh God, clouds of dust. Oh God, this is not precise at all. Bring it all around town. Oh God, I just remembered I wanted to do leopard print too. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get ready to say bye to all my hard work. And I'm sick of that side, I'm gonna go to the other side. This looks good. I'm gonna go back to purple. <laughs> that looks so stupid. Oh, there's a fucking meerkat. I might darken that purple a little bit, but I'm kind of scared to. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I don't think I will darken it. As cute as it is. I'm going back to blue. I don't want to darken up a little bit. Give it some more dimension up in here. Ugh, something isn't blended. What's going on over here? Hmm. I think that might be better. Whatever I did. You can't see it, but I can see it. Something looked a little patchy. Oh wait, I didn't do orange. I don't think I need orange. Well, no, I need orange. Who's gonna give me matte orange? Oh god damn it, I need a new brush. I think I'm gonna use this little teeny tiny brush because I don't want a lot of orange. These things are so hard. Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> How long has this been on my thumb? That's kind of gross. I wonder when that happened. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one. Right yonder. Just so I can make this make a little bit more sense. With where the yellow is. The quote unquote yellow. Bring it up a smidge. Right, I think I like that. I think I put that in a weird spot. Get out of here. Okay, cute. Um, I want to darken the blue. Blue brush. I picked one. I'm gonna use this little color board. Please don't ruin this. I don't know how much I can even see that. I'm gonna do a little bit more purple blending. I think I'm pretty satisfied with that. But most of all, I'm tired of doing it. I think I want to do like smoky eyeliner. I don't think I want to do like winged. Because I don't want to cover up too much of what I did. This is the eyeliner that I use. Breakup Proof by Wet n Wild. I like this one a lot. It's cheap as fuck. Oh, there's too many palettes in my way. I don't want boots. Oh, I love when you open it and it's all pointy. I'm always so worried that I accidentally bought brown eyeliner instead of black. Even though that usually doesn't happen to me. Oh, if you want to see a close up, I am doing a makeup video after all. Oh, it looks kind of shitty. Should I blend that more? You know, it's fine. I guess I'm just gonna go for the eyeliner. Spooky. God, black is the scariest fucking color that exists. You mess up once and it's over. I think I already kind of did mess that up. What color? Oh, there. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I've never considered myself to be someone with hooded eyes, but I mean, don't all eyes look like this? I think I just have a small face, small eyeballs, whatever. I think I fucking learned that eyeliner stretchy trick from a Brian Starr's interview episode with Ronnie Radkin. He was trying to teach Brian how to do his eyeliner. I think I just subconsciously adopted that. That's really funny. Fuck. <laughs> Something went wrong. 
It's so weird that like sometimes random actions that I have will just remind me of some shit that I saw one time. Like when I do my eyeliner, I think of Ronnie Radke. One weird one is when I get soap in my eye when I'm showering, I think of Onision. Because in some video he made, he was like, it might have been a skit or something, I couldn't fucking tell you. I blocked all that shit out. It was some sort of video where he like got soap in his eye and then he like stepped out of the shower to put in eye drops. And that just stuck with me. Like the water's right fucking there, Greg. Those are your eye drops. You don't have to step out and get eye drops. I just want to know the context behind that, but I I don't even know how I could find that. All right, now I need like a stiff blendy brush. Maybe I could use a Q-tip. That'd be a good idea. All right, the Q-tip is in my hand. Oh, this isn't gonna do anything. I don't know what I expected by doing this. Oh my God, where did I set my eyeliner? It was in my hand one minute ago. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it was camouflaged. <laughs> That's my basic eyeliner. Since I'm going for like a traditional scene queen look, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna edit this too much. I mean, this is basically what everyone's eyeliner looks like. I wish I was one of those people who could um, line my inner corners to make me look way edgier, but it just doesn't look good. I think my eyes are like already, they're not close together, but they're like as close as they could comfortably get to one another. When I draw a black inner corner, it just brings them further together and it makes them look weird. Fuck, do I really wanna do the leopard print? Well, I gotta make it interesting, don't I? I'll do it after I do my face. I fucking love the smell of makeup because like I used to be like really into dumpster diving. I'm not like really into it, but I really wanted to be really into it. I would mostly frequent the older dumpster. I never like found anything too exciting. I found like some stuff, but that dumpster smelled really fucking good. It smelled like just pure cosmetics. Just like a but it smelled like an older dumpster minus the dumpster. And it's like really nostalgic. Like when I just smell makeup, it smells like the fucking Ulta dumpster. It's so strange. But then my Ulta moved location and I guess they must have shared a dumpster with some other fucking place because it smelled so bad every time we went. It smelled like diapers were in there. So then I stopped going to the Ulta, Ulta dumpster. Maybe that didn't work out. And it started getting unpleasant. Now I live in a fucking city and everyone has a compactor so it's not like I can even really dumpster dive anymore. Unless I want to go to like Aldi and get free food. It's like I'm not the biggest fan of dumpster food. It makes me nervous. Even if it's sealed, it just makes me nervous. I'm just a little paranoid bitch. I also fucking love the smell of, um, I've been using this recently. Well, I got it, like, at Walmart clearance, and it has SPF in it, and I fucking love the smell of SPF. I could smell it all day. I feel like it's a trick to get you to wear sunscreen, since, like, you're supposed to wear sunscreen every day of your life, essentially. If you're going outside, you need to be wearing sunscreen, because the sun is scary. I think it's a scam, because, like, it smells so good, it makes me want to put it on every day. This acne situation is really pissing me off. Like, it's one thing having acne, and it's another thing covering it up with makeup and now you just look like you have a bumpy face. It's like, I don't like it because it looks like I'm trying to hide it, but I did it unsuccessfully, you know? It's like, I want to either have it or I don't. I mean, I don't, like, I, you know what I mean. I don't want to have acne, but if I have to have acne, I'd rather just let it exist. But I can't do just a whole fucking makeup look and not have a face of foundation on. I'd look weird. I've always been pretty pale, but like, I just don't go outside at all anymore, especially, I mean, it's not like I, went outside too much to begin with, but now since we're not supposed to go outside, I feel like my skin is even more pale than it usually is. It's not that there's like a visible difference, but there is with my foundation. Like this one that I normally use, it's called Snow and it's still too tan for me. It's called fucking Snow. Here's another one. This one's called Porcelain. It smells like watermelon. It's called Porcelain. Let me show you what it looks like. It's called Porcelain. And like, you're probably like, why the fuck did you buy it if it's too dark for you? But I usually like to buy my makeup at Marshalls and they don't have test makeup at Marshalls. You just have to open it and like stick your fingers and everything. And it's kind of gross. And I don't want to be that person. I'll open an eyeshadow house just to look at them because I can't just like go off of what they have on the back of the box. But like with foundation, I'm not gonna squirt foundation on my hand in the fucking Marshalls makeup department. I'm sure people do that, but I'm not gonna be that person. And so I'm like, oh, porcelain, that's like really white people, right? Apparently not. Apparently that's white people who like the tan. Cause that's what that reminds me of. It doesn't look like natural tan. It looks like orange tan, like fucking, it was like Donald Trump color. Tan white people have it easy with foundation. Oh, I think I started talking about that because I only have like me when I'm tan is the setting powder color that I have. 
Usually I have translucent powder, but well, not usually. That was years ago. I used to buy Ben Nye transparent when I was getting into special effects makeup. I used it so much that I ran out of it. And now I just have like, I have a Mary Kay one. It doesn't look strange when I put it on, but it's like when you see my neck, you're like, oh, why is that not the same color? So recently I've been having to use literally white powder as my fucking setting powder. I was fucking using the white from the blood sugar palette. Glucose, I'm glucose, glue, glucose colored. I really wish I had some translucent setting powder on me right now, but I simply do not. Yeah, my camera exposure is really bad. When I put too much black in the frame, like look, that's what happens. I think my face is mostly set. It looks a little bit ghostly, but I am gonna contour. I just don't wanna be shiny. And I've never understood how I, I don't know if this is so much a trend anymore, but for foundation to give you like a dewy look, people love to use the word dewy. I don't know what the fuck dewy means. It just made me look greasy. I never understood like all the Instagrammers who have like a like super shiny face and just look good. How? When I have a shiny face, it looks like I need to take a shower. I guess I am gonna use the dumpster palette. I've been trying to use this this one recently because it looks like it has cooler undertones. The one that I normally use is really like warm. I hate contouring my nose. I feel like my nose is always runny. And then I'll like put my brush up and it's like wet. One thing that I've never understood is how people have an entire makeup routine just for their nose to make it look smaller. And I don't know, maybe I'm just privileged in that I have like a kind of small nose, which I mean, my nose is average. I mean, there's my side profile. It's nothing like spectacular. It's nothing like, oh my God, I love your nose. It's just a fucking nose. But I mean, it is a little bulbous over here and I do like to contour it to make that go away. Even people who have the most fucking desirable white people nose, you know, like little button noses that turn up. People who have those kinds of noses, for some reason, they still will have an entire fucking five minutes dedicated to their nose. And I feel like it doesn't even look any, I mean, when I do it, it looks weird. I just powder that shit, it's fine. I smack with my beauty blender to kinda make it less noticeable. I wanna do blush as well. Something looks fucky over here. That's what a fringe is for. You just put it over half of your face. I believe I have a total of one blush palette. I usually mix these top two together. Since I have colorful eyeballs, I figured I might as well have colorful cheeks. That did not give me what I wanted. Okay, cool. Fuck blush, I guess. That's fine. It doesn't look too clownish, does it? I guess my next move is the leopard print, which is really scary. So I'm gonna go get something leopard print so I can even reference it. Located. I'm gonna do a couple of practice squiggles to make sure I'm not gonna fuck it up. That's not too hard. And just squiggles, squiggles and O's and C shapes. I can do that. All right, I'm thinking about just putting them where I would put like a wing kind of. I'm just gonna go for it, man. I don't know. That doesn't look too bad. Now I just have to do that a lot more times. Part of me is wondering if I should have made them bigger. This is a lot less stressful than I thought it was gonna be. I like this, I think. More or less, I like it. I don't know if I should have spaced them out. I don't know, that looks perfectly fine to me. Okay, cute. Oh God, I have to sneeze, I better do this now. Or not. No, I can feel it. Fuck me, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really pick up what I'm doing over here. I'm really just doing a bunch of like squiggly U shapes, O's and U's, I think. One thing that I am struggling with is trying to make it look organic. I don't like this side as much, but that's why my fringe is here. It'll be okay. Are leopards and cheetahs the same thing? I mean, probably not. This is leopard print, right? Not cheetah print? I think I'm mostly satisfied with this. Okay, cute. All right, now I'm gonna do my lashes. I bought these at Kroger. Usually, I would be a little bit skeptical of grocery store lashes, but I saw these at Kroger and I was like, damn, this look really cool. And I bought a few pairs and I really liked them. And I bought another one because I really like them. 
Like my lashes have to be long and spiky. And it's so hard finding lashes that are both of those things. I cannot believe there's a period of my life, for most of my life, where I would just not wear false lashes because they're scary. I don't know who needs to hear this, but like, if you have bad luck with false lashes, you're probably just buying ugly lashes. So that's what my problem was. I didn't know how to look for good lashes. It's still kind of hard, but there's like a few things to look out for for when you're out lash shopping. I always have to buy lashes that say faux mink. Like, you know, mink, like the animal, like fake animal hair. So it doesn't look all stiff. When I see lashes that aren't faux mink, they just look like shitty and spiky and weird. Not spiky as in like this spiky, but spiky as in like the ends are blunt. Like you have to make sure the ends are like tapered, like the end of the actual individual hair. Focus, please. You also have to make sure that the inner corner is like tapered to some extent. When you see lashes that like the inner corner just looks really long, it's probably gonna look kind of weird. At least in my experience with my eye shape. Another important thing about lashes is you have to trim them. I have small eyes, so I have to trim them like a lot. I don't know how much I like this pair yet. I had a friend who would just buy the longest lashes ever and not trim them. And they would like cover up her entire eye. Like um, I cut my lashes to be, like I put them a centimeter away from my tear duct. And then I stopped them like a little bit before where my corner is. So they're like small, like I cut a lot off. When there's too long of a lash band, it just looks kind of fucky. Whether it like makes your eyes look too close together or um if you leave too long of this end out it can give you some droopage looks kind of wonky yeah what back in the day i only had or back in the day i only had some ardell lashes from when i went to ulta with my mom i didn't know how to fucking shop for lashes so i would just buy whatever and they were like the ones that were blunt at the end so they didn't look natural at all and i had this other pair that i bought from like i think it was like a lolita brand or something like for gothic lolita people because lolita monster bunny wore them once and she's pretty as fuck so i was like i'll trust any lashes you tell me to buy and I saw them in the description. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy them. This is gonna be the pair. And I still have them and I don't wear them because I just don't think they really fit my eye shape. When I'm gluing my lashes on, I always do it right before the glue gets officially tacky because I want to be able to manipulate where it ends up, especially in my inner corner. Since my eyes are so small, that means it's more of like a harsher curve for the lash to go. I have to make damn sure that that lash is where I want it. Kind of like raise the ends a little bit while I'm gluing in my my inner corner he doesn't really want to stay today i probably should have wiped off all the powder off my eyelashes before i glued these on but that's what mascara is for that's kind of fucking cute i like how this turned out like from far away it looks all smoky but then you get up close and it's like oh my god that's leopard print cheetah print fuck these are actually the lashes that i bought because of lita monster bunny see how on the model they look fine but like this sort of droopy lash doesn't look good on my eye shape so i'm kind of just stuck with these i don't want to throw them out like i, I paid probably good money for these. They're kind of cute when, I don't want to say cosplay, but if I want to do something that's like a little bit more fun, not natural. But in general, they just don't really look good on me, which I'm kind of bummed about, because they look really fucking good on Lita. What am I doing now? Oh, I should do my lips. I know I said I'm going for a scene queen look, but the thing about that is, they didn't really do their lips. They just kind of left them, and like put foundation over them. But I can't get away with that, not in this day and age. I know it's authentic to not do it, but Usually I only put like a little bit of, I dab like lipstick and I just want it to be my lips but pinker. But recently I did a look where I like hella overlined my lips and my friend Kellen was like, oh my God, like that's your look. Your lips look so good. And I'm like, yeah, it's because they're small and I made them bigger. <laughs> So now I know that I officially just look way better when I overline my lips, so I kind of have to do that now. My lips are fine when they're closed. I don't have the most severe case of white people lips, but when I smile, they leave, they're gone. I only own like two lip liners and they're both by Urban Decay. 24-7 glide on lip pencil. I think that's about as far as I can go. See, they just look so much fucking bigger. This is like the size that I like my lips. They're nice and natural. Well, they look a little bit bulbous, but it's cool. I'm thinking about maybe doing a pink gloss. Cause I think this look calls for pink. I have this. This color is not flattering on my lips at all. Like, believe me, I've tried. But it's a very early 2000s color to have. I have a couple of options. I don't think that color would look good on me really want to know where my lip gloss went. I thought I liked that. Okay, that's fine, I guess. 
It's so weird seeing you with large lips. I really don't like doing a lip routine because like I like to eat food and drink water. <laughs> I'll do a liquid lip at best, but with liquid lips, I feel like it's a lot harder to overline. It just kind of looks funky. I'm gonna line my underneath side. It looks so much better now. I'm thinking about maybe putting a little mascara on the falsies too. Make them stand out a little more. So it just makes them look taller, which I definitely am a fan of. I don't know how much I like these lips. I can't really tell. I know I'm too lazy to change them, but I think that's it. I think that is all that I have to do. Damn, that took a long time. Like over an hour and a half of footage that I have to edit. I really don't want to straighten my hair. <laughs> I don't think I am going to straighten it. I would want to tease my hair, but I don't like using hairspray. And when I tease it, it just falls down because I don't use hairspray because I refuse to. I don't like feeling crispy, especially since I just washed my hair today. I'm not gonna like give up my clean hair for some fucking crispiness. Ooh, my hair's a little frizzy, I need to oil it. Lubricate my follicles. I like wearing my hair wavy sometimes, but sometimes it's just so fucking frizzy that I don't want to deal with it. I need to straighten it immediately. It's been pretty good today though. Usually my waves are only good on the day that I wash my hair. And then the next day I wake up and it's flat. I'm really surprised that the leopard print didn't turn out bad. Like that's actually really cute. <laughs> That's such an ugly angle. Hey guys, look at my makeup. Anyway, that was me doing my makeup. I'm not sure if it was just a tutorial or if I just wanted to film it, but hopefully this maybe inspired you to do some Roaring Twenties looks. I'm feeling pretty inspired. Might have to do a Jeffree Star-esque photo shoot after this. Thanks, bye.